of us couldn't wait to grow up. So our parents don't have to tell us what to do. It's only when you grow up that you realize life is more than what your parents are telling you what to do. Because when you were at home and complaining, you didn't even consider who was buying the food or paying for the bills. But when you are on your own, then you realize that freedom also comes with a price. But the important thing is how you prepare yourselves. So being here, please take yourselves seriously. And again to the girls, take care of your body. If we are told and we believe that cleanliness is next to godliness, our bodies, our environment should be very, very clean. Take good care of your bodies. Don't be in a rush to become mothers. The right time will come. And if God will, it will all wear our hearts and our walking sick and come and congratulate you. Give yourself time to grow. Don't be in a rush to grow a baby in your body when your own body has not finished growing. It may disturb you in the future. Accidents may happen, I know. That is why I'm raising this so that you are conscious, so that you are not only conscious, but also cautious. Take care of your bodies. Don't stop your life midstream. As I said, believe that you can make a difference to your life. It is in your hands. God adds his graces to it, but you make the decision. Make a good one. Determine from today that you are going to be somebody special. And it will not happen because you have said you are going to be something special or somebody special. It means you are going to work hard. It, and the best way to go about it, I think, is to read. Do you love reading? Yes. In fact, I ordered some books that are not ready, and I'll send them over in the course of the day. Read, in, read and read good books. Now I know there are many, many things on the net. A lot of them are attractive. Some not so good. Get support in what sites you should visit. Don't fall for everything. As the saying goes, if you decide to fall for everything, you might come out with nothing. So have a, have a dream. Everybody's dream is valid. Nobody can dream for you. But determine, for, it's always one step at a time, isn't it? It's one day at a time, isn't it? Yes. So you attend classes. You do the best you can. You have some free time. Yeah, spend some of it looking good. But spend also part of it studying on your own. Not only looking over your notes, but reading other things too. Be curious about the subjects others are learning that you are not learning. All I want to say is that occupy your minds with very, very constructive things, and they pay off. Take, believe me, they pay off. It begins with feeling confident in yourself. Yes, you can. If you are not passing all the subjects, it's not the end of the world. Look at the ones you are passing and, and focus on them and bring along the ones you are not passing so that the number increases. Never give up. That is not an option. 